Hello. This short video is the last in a series which demonstrate how quickly and easily secure single sign-on for users of SAP GUI can be achieved. Taking advantage of an existing Active Directory infrastructure for both authentication and encryption key management. In order to demonstrate the identity mapping, I am logged on as Sally Smith. As we saw at the end of the previous video, when Sally logs on to the SAP system, an error is shown because there is no identity mapping set up to determine which SAP user and client to use for her logon session. To set up Sally's identity mapping, Fred, the security administrator, logs on to client 200, then transaction SU01 is used to modify the S. Smith user. In the SNC tab, there is a field for the SNC name, so Fred enters the SNC name for Sally's identity, which is based on her Active Directory account and domain name. When Sally logs onto the SAP system again, she is logged into Client 200 as S. Smith, and this time there is no error and no sign-on screen. Sally can now enjoy the benefits of secure single sign-on. Also, the application data in transit between SAP GUI and the SAP system is encrypted to improve security. Let's see what happens if Fred adds Sally's SNC name to the S. Smith user in Client 100 and keeps the existing entry in Client 200. The identity mapping is one to many, e.g. One Active Directory identity can be mapped onto many SAP users. When Sally logs on, you will see that she has shown a screen, asking her which user and client she wants to log on to. The same screen would be shown if Sally's identity were mapped onto multiple SAP users in the same client. That concludes the demonstration. Now that you have watched all five videos and seen how quickly and easily you can implement secure single sign-on, perhaps you can take a look at some of the other videos on the CyberSafe website to understand the additional features which make Trustbroker useful for a lot more than just single sign-on. Thank you for watching.